This is 15% HCl acid with 5,000 parts per million iron. We're going to build a non-emulsified acid system that's standard to the oil industry. First one, we'll start out with uh, citric acid as a key layer. We will use 25 gallons of that for 5,000 parts per million. Secondly, we will go to a glacial acetic acid used as a buffering agent to help also keep the iron in solution. And that we will use 15 gallons per thousand. Thirdly, we will go to a uh, chelating agent, uh, EDTA. EDTA is a, a sequestering or chelating agent that will actually pull the iron to the side uh, to stop the sludging. We're using approximately 75 pounds per thousand gallons of fluid. EDTA takes a while to go into solution. Uh, and it'll be harder to get in. Thirdly, we go with a non-emulsifying agent. Non-emulsifier is uh, designed to stop the sludging or emulsion effect that comes in play as the acid and, uh, and oil come into contact with each other. In this particular uh, situation, we're going to use five gallons per thousand of a non-emulsifying agent. Pull this mix together. We'll let it set right here. Now we'll go to an anti-sludging agent. This one right here, 5,000 parts per million, 15% iron. In the acid, we'll come in. We're going to use an iron reducing agent. This also uh, helps with the break. This iron reducer will reduce iron instantly, reducing the amount of sludge that can happen. Uh, it keeps the asphaltines and the resins from contacting the HCl acid, thus causing the sludge. This will be our anti-sludging agent. Anti-sludging agent is a non-emulsifier, it's a wetting agent, a dispersant, and it uh, helps to uh, keep the uh, sludging from occurring. This one right here, we're running 30 gallons per thousand. Both systems are mixed up. We'll now add oil to them. This is a uh, dark oil, 36 gravity, high in paraffin. Uh, Slight asphaltine uh, content. We're on 50 mils of acid. We're running 50 mils of oil in both systems. We'll shake both samples vigorously. This is the anti-sludging agent right here <coughs> with its wetters. You can see the extremely quick break that helps to reduce the amount of sludge. The non-emulsified side right here, you can see it's uh, basically oil wet, very little break. 
American Petroleum Institute says this should break 90% uh, in 15 minutes. It should also break 100% in 30 minutes right there. You can see it's still very oil wet. You can look at this one right here as the anti sludge. It is broken. It's very water wet. You can see how it peels. And as it peels, it, it's always wet. That is for a better release. Water wet makes for a better uh, release of oil in the pore throats. It is very repeatable. You can see here it comes again. A very smooth break. This break here is approximately uh, 8 to 10 seconds. We still have no break on the uh, non emulsified acid. In fact, it has become very it will become very viscous and, and turn to a solid. As you can see in the bottom of this, it's already forming a sludge. This is the anti-sludge after 30 minutes wait time. As you can see, the non-emulsified side still has not broken after 30 minutes. This, you can see, is sludge in the bottom of the acid. This is an iron-induced sludge. This is an iron-induced sludge. This is the anti-sludge from Economy Polymers. As you can see, it repeats itself with wettability. Nice smooth break, and it peels. Next, we're going to take a screen and show how this works. As you can see with the screen right here, what we'll do is take this screen, and we're going to pour this through. As you can see this pours right through, and I select very clean bottle, no residue. This is what we want on the formation face and the pore throats. This is a non-emulsified acid system. We will pour this through. As we pour it through, we'll show you as it goes through. Bottle is, bottle is extremely oil wet. <coughs> and this is an iron induced sludge. This is what happens in the formation when pore acid jobs are formed. This induces into the uh, pore throat. It's a combination of acid, hydrochloric acid, attaching itself to the maltines and resins, which in turn cause a sludge. This iron induced sludge uh, can be broken down with the AS2200 from Economy Polymers. This concludes our test. Thank you.